Hey, what's up YouTube, your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. In this video, I will be demonstrating to you how I do the first oil change on my new 2021 Honda Goldwing DCT tool model. My Honda Goldwing has 3000 miles, but it is recommended by the Honda manufacturer to do the first oil change at 4000 miles. And every 8000 miles thereafter, you can verify this information in the Honda Goldwing service manual or on pages 155 of the Honda Goldwing owner's manual. The information that I will be using will be coming straight out of the Honda Goldwing service manual, section 3-11, and it goes through section 3-14, and it'll give you all of the information, including the location of the drain plugs and the filters that needs to be changed on this 21 Honda Goldwing DCT. If you guys would like to follow along, follow along using the Honda Goldwing service manual. Stay tuned to this video, and I will demonstrate to you how I do the oil change on my new 21 Honda Goldwing DCT. Let's get started. I've already placed the Honda Goldwing on the center stand. I'm going to be using the Honda brand oil, the four stroke motor oil, the 10W30. I will be replacing the filter and using the Honda brand OEM oil filter. I will be using the OEM Honda transmission clutch filter. I have crush washers. And I will be using a oil filter wrench cup to remove the oil filter. So I've already warmed up the Honda Goldwing to the proper operating temperature. Next, I'm going to remove the dipstick. When you remove the dipstick, you want to wipe it off with a clean cloth and you want to sit the dipstick back in. You don't want to screw it down, but just sit it back in. Now looking underneath the 21, Honda Goldwing DCT model, you have three drain plugs and how you can tell which ones are the drain plugs is that they have crush washers on the bolts. So you have one which kind of goes in horizontally. Next to it, you have a vertical drain bolt. And as you move toward the middle of the bike, just a few inches away, you have a, another vertical drain bolt. It also has a crush washer on it as well. Next to that or to the left of that, you have the cap that goes over the clutch filter that needs to be replaced. So you have two bolts located in the cap of the clutch filter and you have three drain bolts. One, two, three. So we're going to remove these three drain bolts. We're going to remove the two bolts on the cap that holds the clutch filter. And we're going to remove the oil filter underneath. First, I'm going to use a 12 millimeter to take out this horizontal drain plug. So I'm going to remove the drain plug. Here we go. Okay, I'm not going to take it off yet. I'm just going to just un I'm just going to unloosen the bolts. Okay. You have one here. Okay, now that I have those bolts on loose, And it's best to use gloves when you are working with oil because once the oil comes out, it's gonna go everywhere. Just gonna remove the side drain bolt. Take out all that filthy oil. There's the drain plug and the crush washer. Okay. 
And again, it's best to use gloves when you do this. Gonna take out the second drain plug in the crush washer. And I also put some paper down to keep the oil off the floor. Now I can slide the pan and now I can remove this drain plug that goes in vertically toward the center of the bike. I want to just let that drain. So next we need to take out these two eight millimeter bolts that holds the cap over the clutch filter. And I'm using a eight millimeter socket. And I just wanna loosen the bolts. And underneath that cap is a is a spring. You want to make sure that the spring stays intact. You don't want to drop it down into oil, otherwise you have to fish it out. So I'm just going to start the bolts and just take them out without dropping that cap inside of the oil. Okay, there's one bolt. And I'm gonna take out this second bolt. Okay, there's bolt number two. And next I'm just gonna kind of wiggle the cap off of the clutch filter and it's a spring under there. I want to make sure that I don't lose that spring. As you can see there's the spring and there's the o-ring. So I'm gonna take that Take that spring out of there. And notice the bevel end goes toward the outer part of the left side of the bike. So I'm gonna remove that cap. Next we need to take out the clutch oil filter out of the housing. I'm gonna just reach in with some baby needle nose pliers, grab the filter, and it's gonna be oil everywhere when you take this filter out. As you can see, you got the rubber gasket to the top and the part where the spring goes in on the bottom so when you put the filter back in you want to make sure that the part where the spring goes in on the bottom 
and the rubber gasket goes to the top. Just gonna take the oil filter cap and it actually has a place where you can put your socket. Wow, they got that nice and tight. Wow, they got that real tight. Just wanna wiggle that cap off of there. Turning the oil filter counterclockwise. Look at all that oil. And it'd be a good idea to put some paper down if you're changing this in your garage because this is going to be a messy job. I mean, oil is everywhere. Okay, looking at some of the components that came out of the bike, there's the three drain plugs and crush washers it's recommended to replace the crush washers every time you do an oil change these bolts are the same you have the spring that goes up in the cap for the clutch filter you have the two bolts that hold the the cap for the filter looking at the cap this flange end will go out toward the left side of the bike near the muffler. The smooth end will go toward the inside of the engine. So it's going to look like this when you put it back. Also, you have a rubber O-ring. You want to inspect that rubber O-ring and change it out if it needs to be replaced. So looking at my O-ring, my O-ring looks good. There is the spring. You want to put that spring back in the center. Like so. So when it goes up back in the, in the engine, the spring will go to the bottom. To the bottom of the clutch filter. So looking at the oil filter. This is the new oil filter with a fresh O-ring. The clutch filter. And I want to put a little bit of oil on this to just get it started. And I'm going to put a little bit in my filter as well. The 21 Honda Goldwing DCT model will hold 4.9 quarts when you're doing a oil and filter change. Just a little bit of oil just to get it started. Pull it around that, that gasket. I just like to put a little bit of oil in my filter to get it started. Gonna put a little bit of oil around the O-ring. And some oil around the gasket that goes over the clutch filter. So now I'm going to put back the drain plugs. That's one. And you can tighten these back down after you change out the crush washers. Change them. After changing the crush washers, tighten them back down to the manufacturer's recommendation, torque setting. And I'm just going to get it started. want to get them started I'm gonna put back the oil filter
And I'm just getting everything started by hand. Just getting everything started by hand. Now I can take take the clutch filter, push it back up till it bottoms out. Take the spring. They're both identical on, on both ends. Just gonna push that cap back on there. Hold it up and then screw in, screw back in the bolts. I just want to apply even pressure. Keep in mind this is aluminum. You don't want to over tighten it. Don't be stupid. I just want to get the feel of it. So next I can tighten back the drain bolts. You want to tighten those down. I'm going to tighten those down to 22 foot pounds. And you want to tighten the oil filter back down to 19 foot pounds as well on the oil filter. So, when you're doing the oil change on the Honda Goldwing DCT tool model, you want to go back with 4.9 quarts of oil. That's equivalent to about a one gallon jug with an additional quart. You want to take the dipstick, wipe it off, sit it down in there like so, bring it back up, check it, and the oil should be at the top line. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil to make it 4.9 quarts total. I'm going to let the bike run for a few minutes and check for any oil leaks. And then I'll wait a few minutes and go back and check the oil level of the dipstick. And this will conclude the video of my first oil change on my 2021 Honda Goldwing DCT. If you guys like this video, be sure to click that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. See you.